happy new year, happy 2022. How are you guys doing? How you feeling? I think we're like six days into the new year. Hope everyone's doing good. I myself personally, uh, I could be better. Um, unfortunately, tested positive for COVID this morning. So, but you know what? I made it a whole two years in this pandemic without getting sick. I work in a hospital, haven't been sick. I've worked one-on-one -on -one with COVID patients doing physical therapy, haven't gotten sick. So you know what? Not that I want to have it, but I'm blessed that I made it this far without getting it. And I'm also very blessed for modern science and for vaccines because my symptoms are mild to none. I was coughing a bunch the last two days, had some congestion and my sense of smell and taste is gone. But other than that, really don't feel too terrible. So very, very, very grateful for that. Also, if you're wondering, Daphne is in fact enjoying this giant cat tree that I got for her um, for Christmas, kind of a little early Christmas gift. This is from Chewy.com, by the way, not sponsored, but this cat tree is huge. For reference, it's taller than me. And I got it for $75. Are you kidding me? I was looking for cat trees for like a long time and some of like the two or three foot ones from like Petco can run for like a hundred plus dollars. Um, and this bad boy is almost six feet tall. Well, not almost six feet. Well, is it? It's taller than me. I'm only 5'4". I don't know how the camera makes it look. A lot of you guys comment on my videos and say I look tall in my videos or that you think I'm like 5'10 or something. I'm only 5'4". So I don't know how the camera makes me look taller, but I'm not that tall. But this cat tree is amazing. It's super tall and it's very sturdy. And yeah, she loves it. Daphne, do you love your cat tree? She said yes. So because of the fact that I have to quarantine and stay at home, I can't film some of the videos that I was planning on filming, but that's okay. I will do them at a later time. I wanted to do something that I could do from the comfort of my apartment. And it's like very COVID safe, very quarantine friendly. So I am going to be organizing my active wear drawers that are right behind me um, because they are a total mess at the moment. I've just been like not folding things, throwing them in here very haphazardly. Um, they have not been very attractive attractive recently and not very um, welcoming, if you will, to want to work out, to want to put on a cute outfit and to go do a workout. So in order to help with my 2022 goals, I... what was that? Um, James. <laughs> what was that? Okay. James. So in order to stick to my 2022 goals, which are to, you know, be more active, move my body more, I always want to put on a cute workout outfit. So what better way to do that than to make my space here with my active wear um, more welcoming, more attractive looking, uh, more organized and just have a better flow going because right now there is no flow. It's just a mess. There's nothing in them right now because I took everything out, washed it and dried it because I just kind of want to like start fresh. Not that I work out and like put my clothes back in the drawer, but some of them just have that kind of like stale, been in a drawer or a closet too long kind of smell. So I just wanted to freshen everything up. So currently they're in the dryer and I'm gonna go grab those in a few minutes and just start folding everything. Maybe do a little try on for you, share with you some of my favorite things and then get to organizing. So much stuff. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. So as I mentioned, I don't really have a plan for this. I'm just gonna kind of wing it. I think the first thing to do would be to organize everything by what it is. So put all the leggings in one area, put all the t-shirts and go from there. So cue the time lapse. Okay, so this is everything divided and organized into separate categories. So these are all of my shirts and or like longer tank tops. These are all of my leggings, um, so many. These are sports bras only, so meaning I wouldn't wear these as a top to the gym. Like this to me is just a little too small to wear to the gym personally. So these are sports bras only, wouldn't wear these as tops at all. Um, but those over there, those are like my tank top shirts, but also those like activewear sports bra like tops that just have like the longer band. And then this pile of blackness here are all my shorts. Before I start folding everything, I think I wanna do just like a quick little 
I don't know if it's considered a haul because I didn't just buy this stuff. I want to just share with you guys and show you some of my favorite pieces from my activewear collection, if you will. Um, I just want to show you some things that I love, I wear the most, my favorite, I've repurchased, whatever. And then I'll do like a quick little try on haul as well, that way you can see what the pieces look like on. Um, so we'll do that first and then we'll get to folding and the boring organization stuff. I don't know about you, but I really hope biker shorts are stylish again in the summer of 2022 because I loved them so much last summer. And you know what, even if they're not cool anymore, I'm still gonna wear them because I loved them. Some of my favorites were from 90 Degree and I know you can get these on Amazon. I've also seen the 90 Degree brand at places like TJ Maxx as well. I have a couple of the black pair because I think they're just an absolute staple. I love them, very flattering. I also like the longer length. Um, I feel like for me with a shorter torso, I can kind of really hike these up, wear like an oversized t-shirt and it looks super cute. I also have the Airy ones. So these are the Offline by Airy, the OG bike short high rise seven inch inseam. And I don't like them to be too tight on my thighs. And because I have a little bit bigger thighs, I ordered these in a large. Um, they are the best as well. I think I actually prefer these over the 90 degrees, but they're both equally as good. Um, I think the 90 degrees are gonna be a little bit cheaper, but love these as well, super comfortable. Next up are the camisoles, like not t-shirts, but those tank top sort of cropped things. Um, fun fact, I used to never wear these to the gym. I was extremely self-conscious, would never be caught dead in a tank top because of my arms, because of my paleness, because of my what the fuck ever. Um, babes, it's 2022, wear whatever you want to the freaking gym. I promise you no one cares. Nobody cares, right Daphne? No one cares. Anyways, my probably favorites out of these are my ones from Amazon. These, I'll have to get the name because I've already forgotten, but these are just very basic tank tops, um, camisoles, whatever you want to call them. There's no built-in bra, they're very thin. I, you definitely have to wear a sports bra underneath them, but they're the best. Aerie also makes these really incredible, like, cropped camisoles. These have a little bit of a thicker material to them. I always get compliments on this tie-dye one, which I love. Of. Um, definitely cropped. I like it so much. It has like a ribbed material. Sometimes I can get away with not wearing a bra um, if I'm not doing high impact. This is actually new to me. This is the Gym Plus Coffee tank top, cropped tank. I'm obsessed with this because again, this is everything that I love. I actually was super inspired by Taylor Woods. If you guys follow her, she's like one of my favorite people on YouTube and she's a mutual with me on my Instagram, but she does a lot of fitness and health stuff as well. And she has several videos of herself wearing this or working out in them and I was obsessed. I was like, oh, I love the green, love the cropped look. Found out they're from Gym Plus Coffee. So I decided to get myself some. I have yet to wear them, but I mean, they look super cute, super comfortable. I don't think I'm gonna regret it. My other newest obsession are these from Athleta. But again, absolutely loved the cropped look, the high scoop. So comfy, built-in sports bra. This one was on sale, so I don't know if it's still available, but I was obsessed with this like dark green like tie-dye look. Ugh, chef's kiss. Um, first and foremost, Aerie of course has my heart forever and always. Their offline, real me, high-waisted leggings are always a fan favorite. I think I've talked about them in like every freaking video I've ever made ever. Um, they're the best. They have this beautiful high-waisted cut to them. They're buttery soft, very comfortable. They're not the most supportive in the sense of like if you're doing a lot of high impact, like if you're jumping up and down and running, they will roll down a little bit. Um, but you know, for like walking and like general strength training, they're, they're gonna stay put, but high intense training, I mean, they're not the best for that. But I love them, they're squat proof, they're wonderful. I have these in so many colors, let me show you. I have them in this pretty green color. I have this red-ish color, maroon, red, whatever, wine color, I don't know. I have them. I have the crossover, here we go. That's the crossover. Blue pair, I have this orangish tan color, brownish, I don't know. So that alone are my airy leggings. They're the best, I'm obsessed if you can't tell. I have been obsessed with Athleta recently. I've been doing a lot more online shopping with them. Um, they're definitely a little bit more expensive, but to me very much worth it. They have really good quality stuff. I bought this pair of leggings in this really, really pretty blue color. These are the Athleta Ultra High Rise Elation 7-8 Tight. 
very, very amazing. Love them so much. I have this pair and then this pair as well. A colorful Koala, I do have a couple from them as well. Um, their sizing is weird. I have these both in mediums and I think the this teal color or whatever color this is, fits a little bit tighter. So the sizing is a little strange, but they're good nonetheless. I like them. And lastly, a new favorite of mine for leggings are these ones. Again, another Amazon buy. Um, first look, you might be like, what? Um, Cause I was at first, but they're all over TikTok. They're all over like everything. So I just had to jump on the bandwagon. They're amazing. Okay, they have this nice ribbed texture. They're stretchy, they're squat proof. Definitely worth the, I think like 20, $25 that they are. They're on my Amazon storefront. Check them out for real. They're so nice. Okay, well now that I've deconstructed all the beautiful piles I just made, it's time to get to folding and then assembling and putting away. This took way longer than I thought it was going to, but at least everything is organized now and now it's time to get it actually organized in the drawers. Okay, so I decided for this top left drawer to do all of those workout tops. They look really pretty, like I color coordinated them, but I didn't actually. I did my leggings, but not these, but they kind of look color coordinated. But I have those Gym Plus coffee tops, the Amazon ones here, and then just like some other ones in the back. I kind of like how that turned out. My folding game is not that good. I feel like they're kind of bulky. So if anyone has any tips to fold a little better, like how the heck do you fold a sports bra? How the heck do you fold like a sports cropped tank top? I don't know. Over in the other side, I decided to do my graphic tees, the t-shirts, and then my sports bras are back here. The reason they're back here are kind of hidden is because I usually wear the cropped tank tops that have the built-in sports bras. So I'm usually rarely wearing sports bras on their own, but I have them back there. And then the holy grail, which is all of my leggings. Oh my gosh, how pretty does this look right now? I have a couple of leggings that are actually that need to be washed that are in my hamper so they're not included but they will fit back here i have some opening back there um i think i have like four or five pair in the laundry right now so that should close that gap back there but these i did try to color coordinate let me know what you guys think i tried to do some kind of color coordinated system here but i'm not sure I may redo it, I don't know, but no particular order of brands, but um, I have a couple of the lighter colors and then like my blues and greens and grays and blacks. These are all of my biker shorts in the front. And then in the back, those are just like regular workout shorts, like the Nike ones that have the built-in underwear. So yeah, that is the entirety of like the leggings and the pants. And I think it turned out pretty good. Well, that's all I have for organizing my activewear collection. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that was somewhat entertaining for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.